Well hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. You're joining me here today in the super flat world as I've got a bit of a different tutorial today as I'm going to show you how to build custom Minecraft trees. That's right guys I know there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to build custom trees but I wanted to show you my take on it, show you how I would do it. We're going to go through all the usual Minecraft trees, we're going to do oak, spruce, my favourite, uh, birch, we're going to do acacia, all of those and then I'm going to do a little couple of extras on the end so you can make your world even more special with some extra trees. So quickly I'd just like to say thank you so so much for everyone who's been recently subscribing. You guys are all amazing. You, your support's just it's overwhelming to be honest so thank you so so much. So without waffling on anymore let's jump straight in with your tra traditional Minecraft oak tree. Let's go. Okay guys so for our oak tree we're going to be improving on the uh, on the original Minecraft oak tree as the original it looks nice but the original is quite skinny it looks quite small you know oak trees in real life are quite big and quite chunky so what we're going to do is we're going to use the oak log and we're going to just start to mark out a bit of a circle as to where we want our trunk just to grow up from so this circle doesn't have to be a perfect circle in fact it's better if it's not it wants to look natural so this is what the base of our trunk is going to look like and then we're just going to use the logs and we're just going to build up a couple of blocks just to make the bottom of the trunk nice and thick. Lovely and then once we've gone about three blocks up we're going to use our oak block log. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this to hide the edge of the, the, the logs like so so that it doesn't look like it's being cut down at any point. So we're going to use that like that and then we're going to quickly jump down and we're going to start to thicken up the edges a little bit even more by adding a couple here and there making it look like roots um, coming out the bottom of the tree like so. So we just do them randomly, they don't have to be perfect so we're going to have a big one there like that. In fact actually that doesn't look too nice, we'll have a, um, <clears throat> we'll knock that one out, make it a bit more random, we'll add one here like that. Now that's, that's looking quite nice. So then what we're going to do is we're going to build up the, the middle of the trunk even more, but this time we're going to come in slightly. So we're going to place a block there and we're going to build up like so. And we're going to build up an even thinner area of the uh, the trunk. So it gets thinner as it gets higher. So, oops, so the tree is starting to look a bit more realistic. So that's what we should have so far. If you notice you've placed the block a bit wrong like that, then just swap it out like that. We want everything going up the same way and then what we can do is to make the the curvature of the of the tree even better we can use spruce stairs now you might think why would we use spruce wood on an oak tree well actually the spruce color goes a lot uh, better with the um, the outside of the oak log than the actual oak stairs do so what we're going to do is we're going to pop one here pop one down here maybe pop on there one there and maybe one here and that what, what that does is it just smooths out the the uh, the curvature of the tree to make it look a bit more gradual okay before we get any further up the tree we're going to grab some more of our awkward blocks and we're just going to knock out a couple of the dirt blocks underneath the tree and we're just going to make it look like the roots are working its way through the dirt and popping up through the ground like so like they do in real life now this is just makes the ground look more textured, makes it look more interesting and uh, it makes the tree look overall I think a lot nicer. So just pop a couple there maybe, uh, maybe one here, oops, one there like so, so it's lined up that way and we'll add one here like so and that's looking quite nice. What we can do however is if you feel like you need to add a bit of the, the edge of the log just add it on the edge like that and that looks like someone might have took a chunk off the end, end of this tree here. Uh, I think it looks quite nice in some spots so maybe add another one there perhaps and then just make that a, a bit more gradual by adding a stair there. Mm, we don't want it too symmetrical so we'll pop that one there like that. Lovely. So as we work our way further up the tree I'm going to continue this um, this gradual uh, getting thinner until we get to about a decent height about there maybe one more and then what we see in real life is we start to see the trunk split up into one two three maybe um, maybe four larger branches 
well, sorry, not larger, thinner branches than this, but the largest of the branches. So what we'll do is we will build a thick branch, whoops, thick branch coming out this way, still coming up maybe, rising up like so, and then we'll add another one over here, whoops, like so, just spider, spider legging out like that. Uh, spider legging, is that a term? I don't know, I've just made that up on the spot, but sounds quite good, I think. And then we're going to build another one over like this. Spider legging over here as well. So we've got three thick branches there, like that looks quite nice. And then on these thick branches, we're just going to pop maybe an oak log uh, just coming off there like that. And maybe another one like that and like that. And then maybe one like coming straight up like that that looks quite nice okay next what we're going to do is we're going to use the oak logs again and we're just going to build up this middle bit a little bit more just so it fills the middle gap in a bit like that and it's just a little um just a little gap filler so it doesn't look like there's a huge uh, empty space in the middle of the tree like so okay so next we're going to grab our spruce fences again spruce because it looks uh, looks a lot better next to the oak uh, the oak bark and then what we're going to use uh, the fences for is we're going to pop a couple of fences on the end of certain logs to make it appear like thin branches are popping out like so and this just adds a bit more detail a bit more life and a bit more realism to the tree and i think it looks now i didn't used to like this to be fair i used to see people build trees with fence posts and stuff on and i used to think that, that's not for me that doesn't that doesn't look very good but then as i've uh, uh, learned how to build over time i thought you know what this looks really really nice um so we're just going to pop a couple, not too many just a couple more on like so maybe one here a little one out here like that and then we've pretty much got the base of our oak tree built now it's time to add the leaves so the leaves we're just going to start on each branch and we're just going to build up a fluffy ball around each of the large branches now it doesn't have to be perfect obviously a tree and isn't perfect sorry so we're just going to dot them around oh by the way guys i have got a texture pack on here it's germs better leaf pack uh, if you want to um, download that yourself on java i've got i'll put the link in the description but it just makes the leaves look a bit more fluffy and adds um these little flowers onto some of them it looks a little bit like the new um the new oh is it the lush tree i can't I can't remember what the trees are called in the, in the 1.17 update, but it looks a little bit like that. But um, but yeah, so we're just going to build a bit of a fluffy ball around each of the the out outer large branches. Okay, so once we've filled in a little bit of a fluffy ball on each of the larger branches, we're going to start working the working the leaves in towards the centre, like so, and just um, filling out the rest of the tree. So we're going to build it up towards the centre, put a little few. Uh, few leaves on the center branch here like so and this gives it the um the height that these oak trees have in real life because they are quite big trees so this gives it the height and then we just fill it out with all the the leaves obviously you know what looks good you know what you think looks better um so just do it randomly and then just tweak it as you go along so i think here you can see here from the ground there's a big gap in the middle there so what we're going to do is we're going to fill in these these uh, holes like so and then just continue to fluff the tree out until it starts to take shape okay so once we've filled out the bit of the branches we're going to do something um, to fill out the under bit of the tree remember we're going to be walking around underneath the tree so although you will see some of the branches we're going to drip down some of the leaves like so to make it look like dangling leaves and branches and just makes it look a lot more natural so not too far otherwise it starts to look like a willow tree so we're just going to put a couple of extra blocks underneath the blocks we've already placed just to give it that extra depth. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with how this is looking so far. So once you're happy with how the leaves look, then what we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to the bottom of the tree here. And we're going to start to texture up the ground a little bit. So let me just turn it to daytime again so you can see what we're doing. And then what we'll do is we're going to grab some coarse dirt and we're just going to replace some of the dirt around the bottom of the of the tree like this just to give it that rough texture to make it look like the roots have been uh, working the way through the soil see people have been sitting down near the tree all the animals have been taking shelter around here and uh, it just makes it look more natural and it sits in the environment a lot more nicely and then we're going to do the exact same thing but we're going to use our path block 
Now, I love the path block. A lot of people don't like it, but I absolutely love the path block. It just makes it look like dry grass or where like the the dirt transitions into the grass and it just gives the whole, th whoops, just gives the whole thing a real, real nice gradient. So once you're happy with um, how your, your, your ground's looking on the outside, we're gonna start adding a bit more foliage, but down here on the ground. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our oak leaves again. I'm just gonna pop a couple on the ground like this. Just a, just a little bit of, of maybe young trees climbing the way up or a bit of bush um, growing up the side of the tree like so. Not much, just a little bit like that. And that definitely makes it look a lot more natural and a lot nicer to look at. And then once we've done that, we're gonna grab some sweet berries and we're just gonna pop a couple of these next to the tree, right up, up against the trunk if we can. And that just gives it that pop of color that I think it needs. That little nice red. We need to wait, wait a couple of minutes for that to grow and I'll show you what the final tree looks like. Okay, guys, there we go. There's our oak tree finished. We've got that little pop of color at the bottom. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. So let's move on to the birch tree. Okay, so in real life, birch trees are quite uh, slender, quite long, thin and slender. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, like the actual Minecraft birch tree, we're gonna start off with um, a single a single pile of birch logs like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're quickly gonna split off into two different um, branches. So we're gonna go one this way, just like that. And we're gonna go one this way. This time that one's gonna be a bit taller like that. That's the base of our birch tree. So then what we're gonna do for the leaves is we're gonna grab our birch leaves. Now the birch leaves in this texture pack are actually orange, but it doesn't make a difference. It still looks good in the traditional green uh, birch leaf. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work the same way as we did before around each of the larger branches, giving it that shape. And we're gonna work our way up to make it sort of a teardrop shape at the top. So just fluff out them two big branches and meet up at the middle. But we want to try and leave a gap in the middle here so we can see uh, see through and that gives it that sort of V, that nice V shape. Again, just pull away every now and again just to get a better look at the tree. So then come back in and just work on the areas that need more work. A couple more on the front. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom here and we're going to replace some of the ground again with some coarse dirt and again with some of the path blocks as well. So instead of using the berry bushes as a bit of a um, bit of an addition, we're going to use so a cobblestone stair just here, like so. Just plunk that down there and a stone slab and that's a bit of a rock there next to the tree and I think that looks quite nice, quite simple. And that is how you build a custom birch tree. Now for the spruce tree. Now the spruce tree is my favorite Minecraft tree. And uh, you know what? The, the tree in the game isn't that far off what, what an actual spruce tree looks like, but we can do better. I know we can do better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of our spruce logs and we're just gonna just try and get this in line with our other two trees. Um, we're gonna build up a single, um, a single trunk up like this. And this can be as tall as you want. So I'm going to go for about, maybe a little bit taller than that. Maybe two more like that. And uh, then what we're going to do is, at the bottom, to thicken up the base slightly, we're going to use dark oak stairs, because the dark oak matches the, the bark of this wood better than the actual spruce stairs. So we're going to pop one there like that. And we're going to pop a slab like that. And that just gives it a bit more, uh, a bit more of a base, a bit more of a foundation. Fixes it into the ground a bit more. And, uh, and it looks a bit more natural than just a, a stick popping out the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our uh, spruce wood logs again, and about, about a third of the way up, we're gonna start and pop some logs like this. Now, these are gonna be about three blocks long, maybe two, couple of two, and then we're gonna just keep doing this all the way up, swap it out for the normal logs as well. Uh, but as we go up, the logs are gonna get smaller and smaller until we get to about here and then we're not going to put any more logs so that's going to be the base of our spruce tree like so maybe you had one more on this side like so uh, and it looks like a bit of a burnt christmas tree it looks like your christmas tree at the end of the season when all the leaves have dropped off but that's exactly what we want because now we're going to add the leaves back on we're going to grab our spruce leaves and i think these might be a little bit too thick at the bottom so we're going to knock one off like so and we're just going to 
start at the bottom and we're just going to sort of go around in rings so what we're going to do at the bottom we're going to fill it out like a big disc uh, all on one level and we're going to make it the widest at the bottom and we're going to get thinner as we go up so this is what um the bottom layer should look like just zoom out lovely make it a bit thicker along here lovely is that yeah that's a rough circle and then we're going to go up a layer and we're just going to bring it in ever so slightly so it's a little bit thinner so it's going to start and look like a bit of a cone um as it builds up so if you want you can do it layer at a time or you can just start shaping it um whichever way you feel is comfortable you can see a couple of the branches that doesn't really matter i think it makes it look more natural um, and if you want to just pop a couple of random whoops a couple of random leaves just popping out like this one here then i think that makes it look a lot more natural as well yeah so that's the basic shape of our spruce tree i think that looks quite nice it looks a lot more natural um, than the original one and what we're going to do now is again we're going to texture up the floor but this time we're going to uh, start off with the grass the the path blocks the grass path blocks and um, just going to exchange some of the grass blocks here up close next to the trunk um like so and then we're going to put some cobblestone around as well some mossy cobblestone now using some coarse dirt we're going to replace some of the uh, the grass next to the tree with the coarse dirt because the grass realistically wouldn't really grow up that close near the tree so once you've done that speckle a little bit around like that as well then what we're going to do is quickly turn it to daytime again and we're going to grab some ferns this time actually some large ferns and we're just going to pop a couple around the base of the tree like so not too many because it'll look a bit wild and whoops you know what that doesn't look bad <laughs> and then we'll um, pop a couple of the old berry bushes around as well like so and there we go there is our custom realistic spruce tree okay so next on the list we've got our acacia tree now we we'll just get lined up with the other trees and then what for our acacia tree is we're going to do is we're going to build up just a short trunk like that and then if you can imagine the trees in the um, in the African plains what they do is they spread out quite wide quite low down and um, they provide lots of um, of shelter and cover to the animals and stuff from from the sun so what we're going to do is quite early on we're going to pop in an acacia wood block there and we're going to branch one side off quite low don't go too high just over like that that's quite close to the spruce tree but it should be all right and then we're going to go the other way as well maybe whoops building up maybe diagonally that way and then we're going to do the same just maybe a little one over here like so but then what we're going to do is we'll make that left hand side the long one actually yeah we'll knock a couple off there and we'll make this side quite long like so and that's going to be the trunk of our acacia tree so what we're going to do is we're going to build our leaves around the big branches but we're going to keep them quite um keep the volume of the tree quite thin so what we're going to do is just build out one layer at a time out of the of the acacia tree like so and what we're going to do is we're going to leave this bit in the middle open so we can see through we can see these two branches splitting off and that gives it that traditional look of the of the african um of the african plains you know when you see the sunset in the background you can see the branches of the tree and it's a bit like an umbrella the top of the tree is a bit like an umbrella and it shelters everything underneath from that harsh african sun so now we're going to start and bridge the two together so we're just going to build it over like this again avoiding the gap underneath and i think that's pretty much done so what we're going to do is for the floor we're going to come in and we're going to texture it up with a little bit of sand so we're going to get a bit of sand and just oops i'm just going to dot it in like so like that and then we're going to get a bit of the coarse dirt again and just dot a little few bits about as well 
lovely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some tall grass and just pop a few specks around the bottom. One there, one there, and one there. Lovely. And that is our acacia tree. Okay, so our next tree that I'm going to show you how to build isn't a traditional Minecraft tree, which I think it should be. I think it should be in the game. As I'm going to show you how to build a palm tree. Okay, so we're going to build a nice tropical palm tree that would look great on a deserted island or on an oasis or a nice beach. So what we're going to do is, for the trunk, obviously we don't have any um, palm tree uh, wood, so we're going to use uh, a composter. Because I think the texture of the composter is really nice and it fits really nice um, in the, along with the sand and the, and the tree. I'll show you how it looks like, but what we're going to do is, we're going to start off with about three composters. Uh, maybe four, let's go for four. And then we're going to use a spruce stair. We're just going to pop it on like that. And then we're going to pop an upside down one like that. And then we're going to pop a composter on top like so. Then again, we're going to use a spruce stair and upside down and a composter like that. And that, my friends, is a bit of a, um, a palm tree trunk that's swaying in the breeze. A little curved palm tree trunk. And then we're going to add um, one more stair for luck that way for the palm leaves himself we're going to start from the center we're going to come up diagonally out and then drop down and we're going to do this four or five times so that's one come up diagonally out and down like so and then we're going to do another two on the other two corners. There we go. And that gives the illusion of the final, of the actual palm leaves. And if you want, you can add another small one in the middle, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this, uh, the dirt with some sand. So it looks like it's on a nice tropical oasis beach. Whoops. Um, and we can sit under this tree with our cocktail or pina colada, um, watching the sunset and watching the waves crash up against our feet. Doesn't that sound lovely? There we go. That's our palm tree. Okay, so the final tree I'm going to show you how to build is another extra tree that doesn't exist in the game, is a willow tree. So what for the willow tree, we're going to use our dark oak logs. A bit like the oak tree, we're going to start off with a thick base. So we're going to build a bit of a rough circle slightly bigger than the oak tree one so oops give that a bit more of a, a bit more of an angle and then that's going to be the base of the tree and then again we're going to use the dark oak blocks just to build it up slightly oops so it's nice and thick and t and uh, it doesn't go too tall this one it's more it's more chunky than it is tall and then as we go in we're going to start to miss out a couple of the outer blocks and we're going to start coming in a bit thinner as we get two or three uh, blocks up like so so at this point we should be looking a little bit like this um, and then as we get taller we'll do a couple more like this and then we're going to go with a the one there like that and then once we've got something like this we're going to get our dark oak stairs and like we did before we're just going to pop a couple to gradually make the the incline look a bit smoother like this lovely and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, dark oak slabs and we're just going to create well first of all we're going to use our dark oak logs and we're going to pop a couple out like this just to make the roots again like so How's that looking? Like that. We're gonna make them nice and thick. These ones so come out like that. Um, we're just snaking the way around the ground, like so. That looks good. One more over here, I think. Just snaking its way around like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the slabs just to pop on the end, like so. And then we're going to get our um, dark oak logs again, and we're just going to pop some in the ground just like this. Lovely. So then we're going to grab these logs again, and we're just going to make one 
thick branch coming over here now it's going to be really thick so two or three blocks wide like so just arching over the side of the tree like this just thicken that up a little bit like that it's looking nice looking lovely and then what we can do is we can grab our stairs again I'm just going to smooth out some of this branch like so beautiful beautiful and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our dark logs again and we're going to make a couple of thinner branches popping out over the edge like this not too many like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our leaves actually first we'll, we'll add a tiny little one popping out the back here like that just like that just to give it a little bit more balance like that then with the leaves what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this top bit similar to the oak tree we're just going to fill in the branches around the edges like fluffy little balls and then fill in the, the gaps if you guys have watched my um, my pond terraforming video you might have seen me build a bit of a willow tree in that video if you haven't seen that go check that out um, you can see how you can terraform um, any body of water, be it be a pond or, or a lake or anything like that. And I build a similar tree like this with some nice lights hanging from it. So once we've fluffed out the top of the tree like so, what we're going to do is we're going to get some more leaves and we're going to just dangle them down like so in different spots, especially in the overhang bit over here like so, pretty much over halfway like so okay so that's the base of the tree and then if you want to add a little bit more dangly what you can do is you can get some uh, jungle vines and you can just pop them on the edges like so and they'll droop down and make it even more dangly so then for the terraforming we're going to grab some path blocks again lots of them this time around the base of the tree because there's a lot of sh uh, shadow under all these uh, thick thick branches so the grass doesn't really grow uh, under here so we're just going to place it all with this lovely path block like so and then we're just going to do the same with a bit of coarse dirt it's looking lovely and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of the uh, berry bushes And we're going to add a couple of rocks in there as well. Maybe use a couple of cobble, uh, a bit of mossy as well. Pop a couple of slabs, it's just normal regular stones like that. Beautiful. And then we're going to add a couple of large ferns as well. Beautiful, and there we have our custom built Minecraft willow tree. And that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video has been helpful. I love all of our trees and I've really enjoyed making them. Uh, if you decide to build them yourself or build your own custom tree that you, that's not been in the video, don't forget to send me a screenshot on Twitter. I love to see those builds. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tatty bye.